everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. This is the second part of our two-part series for the mini shields. In this one, we are now going to be destroying this BAM body armor. We got this off of eBay. Again, this one was 150 bucks. It comes completely disassembled. You have to put the stickers on it. Uh, you have to glue the pad on, which again is only quarter inch, cheap plastic. You know, I, I'm gonna give them this credit. It's better than nothing. But they also tell you on the ad to buy some Velcro so you can have a forearm strap. So we put some extra tape on here to try to hold the arm up because this thing's really going to take a beating with the rounds. So make sure you watch this video here because this one we did the RTS steel body armor. These are both 3A+. The scary thing about this one is the size, date, and also the plus behind the 3a were all written in on marker that's how i got it from ebay so uh, a little sketchy but we're gonna see how this bad boy holds up again same rounds as the last one here we go so we brought out a pretty decent array of firearms we're gonna start off with the 45 colt Stepping up to 500 Smith & Wesson. Yes, this is a 500 Smith & Wesson Mosin Nagant. Not quite done with it, but we'll get there. Then SKS and the Bear Creek Arsenal, thanks to those guys, in 308. And then we're going to finish her off with 15 rounds out of the Thompson submachine gun. So the Thompson shoots a 230 grain full metal jacket. We got 145 grain full metal jacket out of the 308. 123 full metal jacket out of the SKS. And this is a 400 grain 500 Smith & Wesson. And then a 225 grain 45 Colt. So let's get to it. All right, so in the same order as the last video with the RTS shield, we're gonna start with the 45 Colt. These are supposed to be rated up to 44 Magnum. I know 45 Colt isn't quite as strong, but it's pretty close. We'll see if we can stop this one. Looks like a pretty solid hit. I think it stopped it. Let's check it out. Whoo, that was a good solid hit. Well, all right. Bam body armor. Check that out. It is embedded right in the Kevlar. It stopped it, folks. There is a little bit, little bit of bulging on the back, but hey, the stickers held up. The bolts are still tight. Um, now, again, if you hit these little bolts here, it, it, it's going to be the end of that handle. However, it held up. My stand is still tight. The arm is still tight against it. All right. Well, hopefully the high speed's not going to be too ruined because the clouds are moving in, but we're going to keep rolling. Here we go. All right. I don't mean to be a negative Nancy or anything, but I am not expecting this armor to hold up to the 500 Smith & Wesson after seeing the damage it did to the RTS plate, but the RTS, RTS plate did stop it, but it did do a lot of damage. But again, I do not have sights, so I'm going to try to hit a center mass best I can. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I saw branches moving way down there. I think it pierced right through. Not good at all. Good shot though, I mean, went right through though. Man, it didn't even slow down. It broke the wrist. Check this out back here. Um, God, I can't believe it broke my hot glue gun stuff. But yeah, check that out. Just blew right through that. Blew his arm apart. 
Oh man, you'd be definitely going to the hospital on that. Well, no, probably straight to the morgue because you're gonna be like this and that thing's going here, so. Woo! All right, we told you we were gonna tear this one up. I was so mad though, because in my hurry hurry to do the cameras, um, I actually turned this one off so it didn't catch that. At least the other high speed did. Again, uh, we got clouds coming and going, so it's, it's hard to catch the high speed, but enough of me talking, let's get on to the next round. Here we go. All right, moving on to the Chinese SKS and 76239. Hopefully camera, hopefully, hopefully Chris will get the cameras going. Hey, at least we had a plethora of cameras to choose from. But that was the one that was right behind it. <laughs> it's recording now. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out the RTS uh, shield that we did on the previous video. Oh, <laughs> after I shot, the arm just kind of plopped down. Where's my arm? The shield crapped an arm. God, another one to the morgue. Bam, body armor. Well, in their defense, it's not rifle rated, is it? It's not rifle rated, but, you know, they said it was a 3A+. Plus. Now, 3A+, plus just means they could throw anything else at it, and it stopped it. You know what I mean? A 22. Ooh, look at it. Stop that. Um, or something else. 40. But, <laughs> what a shot. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So, there's the first one there, which uh, definitely sent him uh, six feet under. And this one did too. Wow, that's cool. Man, that's some cool work uh, the girls do out there at Ballistic Dummy Lab. Chris, you're just the mouthpiece, man. Jim's just the camera guy. So it's all, it's all the girls in the back, the ones that they never show. But thank you guys, this was awesome. Uh, come to the back here, obviously went through, went through the hand. Um, and yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this back up uh, and we're gonna show you what the 308 does to a forearm. So here we go. All right, thanks to Bear Creek for this AR-10. This video has turned into a, <laughs> just a destruction video now, but those are the best. They're my favorite at least. All right, 308 versus the BAM shield. Let's see if we can get it right in the forearm. <laughs> Okay, it, just a piece of the arm just fell down underneath the target now. Let's go check that out. That was disgusting. Disgustingly cool how the arm pooped out a piece of arm <laughs> is what it looked like. Check this out. <laughs> right straight through the arm and also your body. So, all right, that was insane. Check this out back here. It didn't even have to move the padding that much. Now, I'm sure BAM has some steel body armor that would hold up better than this. But hey, I wanted to do level 3A plus against level 3A plus. 
and that was just incredible man i can't believe it well at least we got half an arm left for the thompson because the thompson's really cool <laughs> and i want to see it so let's send it bud all right we know it's compromised we know all the other runs will go through but we're going to shoot with a 45 acp out of this thompson just because we can why leave it out all right let's try to keep them all on target I, I think they eventually started to go through. Like that was 20, yeah, 20 rounds, 45 ACP. Let's see if they went through. Woo, that was awesome. So awesome, I love the Thompson. Uh, only a couple shots here. This one hit the metal. The rest of them, I believe, hit. Now on the back, I don't think it went through. There was dust coming off, as you saw, in the high speed. And I don't see any new flesh wounds. Not that, uh, that was kind of one of those mean gangster while you're down, I'm just gonna pepper you with the 45 um, Thompson there, but. All right, so we had three rounds go through. Uh, we had the 7.62 uh, by 39, 308, and the 500. Um, that, I don't remember which one was which, but. So, uh, let's check that out. I tell you, man, it, let's see. Uh, it's not so hard anymore. <laughs> so it stopped 20, 45 ACP rounds out of a Thompson, just one after another. You know, the handle is still here. None of the bolts got hit. So not bad, not bad. I really thought the handle was just from vibration was would snap off um, these cheap little screws and stuff, but it still did pretty good. I mean, definitely pistol rounds, nine mil, 40, 45, uh, 44 Magnum, it says it could stop. We didn't have one, but it didn't stop any of the others. So there you have it, folks. Let's get this one here. Just kind of do a comparison again. All right, so the RTS here, man, that's, it, it took a beating. It really probably wasn't a fair test, but again, you claim level 3A+, and they only put this as level 3A+, I mean, special rifle round, but they didn't specify like exact rounds. So I'm really impressed with it. Um, she could still take a beating, man. That That's pretty good. I mean, the handle, like I said, got a little loose, but the pad, everything, zero penetration on the RTS, really tough stuff. Uh, the BAM body armor here, this one got pretty tore up. Maybe we can see if uh, BAM will send us uh, one of their actual steel ones and see if it'll hold up as good as RTS. So again, thank you, RTS. Um, BAM body armor, I had to buy this one, but hey, you know, you guys put it out. Thank you for, for even doing this, because again, it stops some stuff. And a special shout out to uh, Ballistic Dummy Lab for these awesome arms. Anything you guys need, any, any body part, they can make it for you, just ask. So thank you guys for watching. We'll be back.